Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video, we're talking about the history of the Poland men's national soccer team. Pull up a seat, and let's start the discussion. Poland is a country located in central, slightly northeastern Europe. It has a population of about 38 million people. The Polish National Soccer Federation is a member of UEFA, which is the European Confederation in FIFA. The Polish national team plays its home matches at the PGE Narodowy, which is also known as the Stadion Narodowy or the Warsaw National Stadium. It's located in the city of Warsaw and holds about 58,000 people. The Polish Football Federation, or Polski Zwizek Pilki Naznej, which is abbreviated as PZPN, was founded at a meeting in Warsaw, Poland in December of 1919. The meeting occurred a little over a year after Poland had regained its full independence after World War I. Three men, Joseph Lustgarten, Jan Polakowicz, and Jan Wiesenhoff were credited as writing the articles for the Federation's creation, and the PZPN's first president was Dr. Edward Setnarowski. By 1920, four regional soccer associations had formed in Poland, and the game grew rapidly, with the Polish national team playing its debut international match on December 18, 1921. The PZPN was admitted to FIFA in 1923 and joined UEFA as a founding member nation in 1954. The national team has two nicknames, Bialo Zerwoni and Polski Orli. The Bialo Zerwoni nickname means the white and reds in Polish. It comes from the country's flag and the team's kit color. The Polski Orli nickname means the Polish Eagles in Polish, and it comes from the Polish coat of arms and a variation of the Poland flag. Each of these items contains a white eagle. Now, the story of the white eagle representing Poland comes from a legend when Lech, who was the founder of Poland, came across a white eagle in the wild. The eagle was fiercely protective of its young, which greatly inspired Lech. He vowed to be fiercely protective of Poland's land and made the eagle a symbol of Poland, which it has remained as throughout the country's history. The Polish National Soccer Federation crest takes its inspiration from the Poland coat of arms. At first glance, the crest looks like a futuristic modern version of a soccer ball with a crown. Upon closer examination, you will see that the red and gold lines actually form the outline of an abstract looking eagle. The eagle, crown, and colors of white, red, and gold all come from the coat of arms. We've already discussed the eagle and its importance to Poland. And the crown was first added to the coat of arms in 1295 by King Przemysl II. It was removed in 1955 with Poland falling under communist rule and added back to the coat of arms in 1989 after the fall of communism. It's quite an interesting crest with a lot of meaning even though it appears simplistic at first glance. Poland has appeared at eight World Cup finals tournaments, including the 2018 World Cup. Its best ever finish was coming in third place in 1974 and 1982. From a continental competition perspective, Poland has participated in three European championships. Its best ever finish at a Euros was the quarterfinals when it reached that in 2016. Poland qualified for the 2018 World Cup by winning Group E of European World Cup qualification. It has been placed in Group H for the 2018 World Cup group stage. I'd like to highlight three of Poland's greatest players from the past in this section, and please bear with me on these names. I'm going to do my best with the pronunciation. Wladimierz Lubanski was the greatest striker in Poland's history before the current generation produced Robert Lewandowski. Lubanski played for the national team for 17 years between 1963 and 1980. He scored 48 goals in that time. He was a part of Poland's first golden generation in the 1970s and early 80s. That did very well at international tournaments for the first time in the country's history. The next player is Kazimierz Dana, who was also a member of that golden generation. Dana was an attacking midfielder and considered one of the greatest playmakers to come from Eastern Europe. He amassed 41 goals and almost 100 caps for the Polish national team and was named in the team of the tournament for the 1974 World Cup. Both Dana and Lubanski won a gold medal with Poland at the 1972 Olympics. And lastly, Zbigniew Boniak, who debuted for the national team at the age of 20 years old, was voted as the best player in Poland's history. 
Boniak was an attacking player that played anywhere along the front line. He played in three World Cup Finals tournaments and scored a hat-trick against Belgium in a 1982 World Cup match in Spain. At that tournament, Poland finished third, which was tied as its best ever finish at a World Cup. Boniak scored 24 goals in 80 games for his country and is a legend for the national team. And for the 2018 World Cup squad, the star player is going to be Robert Lewandowski. He is one of the best center strikers in the world and currently plays for Bayern Munich in Germany. He's big, good in the air, can control the ball very well, and score in a variety of ways. Lewandowski is going to be critical to Poland's success at this tournament. Quick interesting fact about him, his parents, who were both star athletes, were so convinced he would go on to be an international superstar that they gave him an easy-to-pronounce first name. That was so that announcers wouldn't struggle with pronouncing his first name when they needed to do that. And a breakout player to look out for is going to be Peter Zielinski, who plays for Napoli in Italy. Zielinski is a 24-year-old playmaking midfielder who had a great season for Napoli and is on the radar of some of the biggest clubs in the world. He'll be key to creating goals for Lewandowski and his teammates at this tournament. Poland's big international rival is Russia. The rivalry is more related to politics, though. The two countries have only met 15 times on the pitch, but fans treat it as a big occasion. Both countries have struggled with hooliganism and fan violence. Also, over 400 years of conflict and mutual invasions between these two countries helps fuel this rivalry. Poland's all-time record appearance holder is Michael Zulaukow with 102 caps. The country's record goal scorer is Robert Lewandowski with 51 goals at time of recording, and he is still an active player, so he's likely to add to that tally. And a couple less interesting facts for you about Poland. Poland's team at the 1974 World Cup had better numbers than any other team that tournament. Many journalists and former players, especially West German players, cited Poland as the best team at the 1974 World Cup. For those that may not know, the 1974 World Cup is famous for the Dutch team having assembled arguably the greatest team ever, losing to West Germany in the World Cup final. West Germany and Netherlands are the most talked about teams from this World Cup, but it appears Poland may have been the best team at that tournament. If you want to read more about this not very often discussed story, check it out in our video description. We'll have a link there. So there you have it, a bit of history on the Polish men's national soccer team. If you have anything else to add to the discussion, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!